Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is the second episode of my beginner singing course. Last time we used lip trills as a way to loosen up and get a very relaxed phonation going on. Now we are going to work on opening up the sound and adding some warmth. The topic of today is the A vowel, which is the most open of all the vowels, but can be troublesome because the manner in which it is typically realized in the English language, A, is very dark and throaty, which tends to lead to a dull tone and can cause trouble when it comes to singing high in pitch. To solve this problem, we need to find a different, brighter version of the A vowel, a kind that can be found in French and in some German dialects. I call it the shiny A vowel. The shiny A vowel sounds like this. Ah! Notice the buzzing, brassy quality, making the sound seem to sparkle or shine. That is what we are looking for. To achieve this, we need a higher, more forward tongue position, which can most easily be found by trying to widen the tongue. When you widen the tongue, you should feel the sides of it draw upwards and touch the molars. For the A vowel, it is not necessary to maintain this position, and indeed adding warmth to the tone in the form of a lower larynx position will draw the tongue a bit away from the molars. That is fine, so long as the tongue doesn't drop too low, giving us the dark A vowel instead. Above all, we should keep the vowel fronted so as to maintain the associated sharpness in the tone. Another way we can find this tongue position is to add a little J in front of the vowel. Ya! The J already features a widened, elevated, and fronted tongue position we are looking for, and thus it becomes a simple matter of trying to maintain some of that brightness into the subsequent vowel sound. Once you've found it, try doing a couple of slides like this. Ah, ah. It should have an easy, relaxed quality, though it may resemble a snarl as you take it higher. If it becomes tense, though, ah, ah, do some loose movements like this to relax your torso, and then try again, making sure it is not too high in pitch for the range you are currently comfortable in. To really maximize the timbral richness, it is important to open the mouth enough, which helps stop the larynx from rising excessively. In addition, it helps to have some mirth in the sound, like a hint of laughter in your facial expression. This should result in a sound that, despite being quite penetrating with a lot of buzzing, still has a lot of warmth to it. In order to hold on to that warmth as we ascend in pitch, it is important to open the mouth wide, increase the volume, and gradually raise the chin. If you have consumed a lot of online vocal coaching content, you may be somewhat startled at these instructions. Indeed, all three are in direct opposition to the more common advice to use narrow vowels to keep the head level and to prevent the volume from rising. But that is because such instructions are intended to elicit mixed voice, and thus you may expect to hear similar instructions from me when we reach the intermediate course, which focuses on mixed voice. For now, though, we are working on developing your chest voice, opening up your sound, and adding warmth. So for the time being, we need the opposite cues compared to what you may have previously heard from teachers of mixed voice. For today's exercise, we will be doing a 13531 arpeggio with a syllable ya, like this. Ya, 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 ya. When doing this exercise, I want you to pay attention to keeping the tone sharp and buzzing, and as you ascend in pitch, remember to open the mouth and lift the chin. Here we go. Ya, 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 ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
ya. And that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>